Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we will be going over where to find all the hidden toads on the Picnic Road map for Paper Mario the Origami King. Let's get started. Alright, first one's real simple. Once you get in, head over to the left here. You can see him in the bush right there. Smash the bush, the bush, wow, and then smack him. From there, wrap up around the road to this white fence area. Smack that crooked fence down. Got three toads right here. And then there's a shy guy in the back there who also has another one. You gotta beat the shy guy to free that one though. So just do it. Right outside the fence, I missed this one, sorry. Right outside the fence, there's a hole. Smack that hole with your hammer to reveal that toad. I actually missed all of these holes. That's why it's late. Head up to the slope next. I already smacked him, but there is a toad right there that is a butterfly. Smack the butterfly. There's also a hole right here. That hole has a toad in it, but you have to hit a very specific spot, as you can tell. Right where I am now. Pretty much right underneath where the hole is. Smack it until the toad pops out, and then keep heading up the slope, because there's another one up there. See that weird... It's not weird, but it's an oddly shaped flower? Yeah. Look out for those, because toads are hiding around there as well. Next, head down the stony steps to this kind of stone ruins area. Here's one right there. Super simple. Smack that toad right there. Uh, that's the accessory toad, so you really do need him. He'll give you some, like, uh, increased time and stuff like that for battle. Then you want to hit this umbrella, not only for the coins, but because we will be using this as a jump to get that little lost toad right there. Jump in there. Smack that one. There you go. Third one is actually found in the building. I got this one a little late, which is why there's toads outside. From where I am, just smack the floor right in front of you. You'll get a toad. Now head to the stalls, jump up like I just did, break the vase, reveals the thousand folded arms, point, use that, gonna rip this thing down right up here, I use motion controls so it's a little funky, smack it, and a bunch of toads are gonna pop out there. From there head down the stairs even further to this little pot spot right there, break the vase in that place I just entered. And there's a toad right there. Kill the rat and you will free the toad. There are others in that area. You just can't get them quite yet. For now, head back up to where the water is. And as you can see, there's a swan boat, which are just a swan, swan origami. Smack the bricks, the invisible bricks, until you get close enough to free the toad. And he will run on water. Now head down to the sign here near the, uh, near the pond. Smack behind it to reveal another hidden toad. Now head up the path. We're going all the way to the left here. I know there's a butterfly one there, but we're not getting it yet. Head over here. Got one crumpled up. Smack another one free. Now up to the butterfly one. The blue one free. Head to the mailbox. Got a bunch of them there. Well, not a bunch. There's three of them that come out and then an actual note. Make sure you smack all three. Then head up to where the other butterfly is. You have to fill this hole in which will spawn flowers, and that butterfly will fly on down. And if you can hit it, got another toad there. From there, head back down the path, and boom, there's one in that tree. I just simply missed it, so it would have been earlier, but you know, it's close enough. Now let's start where the green flagpole is. Pull the toad up out of the sand trap. Go to the blocks in the ground, smack it with your hammer. Jump. Boom. Free a few toads out of that. Be sure to smack the flag before you leave because there's one there as well. Head down past the second sand trap and there's a butterfly. Smack that for another toad. As you can see here, I hit the circle on the ground which spawns a red flower. And first time, I actually totally missed it. So make sure you hit that red flower before you leave the area. Run up to the path, smack the dog for another toad. This is a fighting toad, so it's all good. Now go to the right and there are two holes. One right here, you're gonna have to hit quite a few times. This last one actually takes, I don't know, like 10 hits to get the last toad out. Four toads in there total. Then head down and smack this hole as well. Again, little beetle thing there for that toad. Then you head over to the tree here. There's a crumpled toad right there. You know what to do, just smack him. From there, drop off the ledge to the right and there will be a little bit of a game of whack-a-mole here. I trapped him, so when he went under, I made sure there was no second hole, and then he was stuck popping up in the one right next to me. So I smacked him when he popped out of the next hole. Uh, he paid me a thousand, he'll pay you a thousand. That was my last toad, but it's not our last toad. We still got more to go. Next one is after you get into the Earth Vellum Temple. 
This little shop out here will open up, and that mushroom right there is actually a hidden toad. Smack him. Then there will be a toad in front of this popcorn machine. Pay 100 bucks, 100 coins for a bag of popcorn, which actually turns out to be a bunch of toads that he ends up popping out. Last ones are at the sensor lab. You need to clear the red streamer before you can get there. When it's open, smack behind the sign, free the toad there. Lastly, enter the sensor lab and hit the fax machine to reveal the last toad. Okay, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw and got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.